chapter 9. One thing you could say about Ted Brotigan. He knew how to cook. The breakfast, he slid in front of Bobby. Lightly scrambled eggs, toast, crisp bacon. Was a lot better than anything his mother ever made for breakfast. Her specialty was huge, tasteless pancakes, which the two of them drowned in our Jemima syrup. And as good as anything you could get at the Colony Diner or the Harwich. The only problem was that Bobby didn't feel like eating. He couldn't remember the details of his dream, but he knew it had been a nightmare. And that he must have cried at some point while it was going on. When he woke up, his pillow had been down. Yet the dream wasn't the only reason he felt flat and depressed this morning. Dreams, after all, weren't real. Ted's going away would be real, and would be forever. Are you, are you leaving right from the corner pocket? Bobby asked Ted, as Ted sat down across from him with his own plates of eggs and bacon. Y you are, aren't you? Yeah, that will be safest. He began to eat, but slowly and with no apparent enjoyment. So he was feeling bad. Bobby was glad. I'll say to your mother that my brother in Illinois is ill. That's all she needs to know. Are you going to take the big grey dog? Ted smiled briefly. Probably the train. I'm quite the wealthy man, remember?